Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for September 29th, 2021. Well, my goodness, yesterday was one of those ugh, ugly days in the market, um, but it shouldn't been, should not have been a major surprise with the technicals in the chart. Having said that, I understand how painful yesterday might have been to some folks. So let's settle in, let's buckle up, and let's get ready for the hump day edition of the Morning Market Prep video. See if we can figure out how we go forward from here. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much. I truly, truly appreciate you being here today. I know yesterday was probably pretty darn ugly, and some folks might be wondering what in the world just happened. Well, I'm gonna change this video up just a little bit this morning. We're gonna do something um, just a little bit different. Let's take a look at TNX that, um, that a second i can't type and talk at the same time apparently um <laughs> the 10-year treasury what happened yesterday is this rapid rise and we've been seeing um it creeping up here pretty sharply of late in the 10-year treasuries um 30-year treasuries also rallied sharply and those 30-year treasuries and 10-year treasuries really started to put some worry on the market. Notice that these are breaks of trends, that these are um, breaks of resistance levels in the chart. And as we see these bonds rise, um, there is concern about inflation, there's concern about interest rate increases, there's concern about Evergrande default, there's concern about potential debt ceiling lift not occurring, there's concern about massive debt, there's concern about lots of different things um, in the market. And so we're starting to see a run to some safety um, in bonds. And um, although they have pulled back slightly, they've pulled back, we had a two basis point pullback um, this morning in um, the 30 year treasuries this morning, we are still very elevated. So the reason I'm pointing this out is rising bond rates are like kryptonite to the NASDAQ, okay? Tech's, tech uh, um, is very, very sensitive to bond rates. And um, obviously that kryptonite did its job yesterday. And I don't think we're out of the woods yet. Although we are pulling back, we're going to want to keep a close eye right in here. If we happen to find some price support in these bonds, we could certainly see them continue to move on higher as worries, all these worries start to creep up here in the market. So watch that closely here on bonds. We're going to have to start paying attention to them pretty closely because it is likely going to have a continued effect on the NASDAQ. Now the NASDAQ yesterday that has recently seemed impervious to any kind of bearish activity in the market kind of got its come up and yesterday um, and, and uh, took a pretty big beating. So looking at this chart now, as you can see, we have a move down, a rally back that ran into price resistance, and now we have made a lower low in the NASDAQ. So that means the NASDAQ has now joined the SPY and then in the diamonds in an official downtrend. And we still have quite a bit of concern here to try and deal with. This is a failure right here at the 50 day moving average. Now I expect to see some kind of relief rally in this and we're seeing that already this morning. This is kind of a, a short term oversold condition, some kind of a relief rally. But let's keep in mind, we have a significant level of price resistance in the chart right here and we have this downtrend in play. So even as we rally back, I wanna caution everyone about rushing in to buy the dip because we could certainly see that possibility of that rally back right into this price resistance level and then continued failure in a downtrend. So watch carefully. Now, if that doesn't occur, 
we shouldn't be too surprised either if we just consolidate here. If we don't have enough energy to rally and we consolidate underneath this downtrend, then we could also continue to fail. Where this gets good, where we can finally start to get some relief and say, okay, the all clear has been sounded, that unfortunately is not going to be until the, the QQQ can actually break that downtrend and then prove to hold it as support. Then we can have a all clear sound, uh, an all clear on this and start working this uptrend back up. But until that occurs, we have some severe technical damage here. And I suspect it's not gonna go away as quickly as we would like it to. So be really careful with the buy the dip um, thing here uh, for, for the time being because there is a real chance we could continue to move lower. Let's take a look at the diamonds. The Dow took a nasty hit yesterday, and we were talking about the possibility of this failing this price support right in here. And we certainly did that in a pretty big way yesterday. Also running in a downtrend, this shooting star at the 50 day moving average certainly created the failure that um, I was talking about. Uh, that potential yesterday. So we're not looking too healthy here on the diamonds. As a matter of fact, our short-term moving averages have crossed down through the 50-day moving average. Um, the rally back here this morning, um, we have to really watch this closely because that possibility we could get a gap up this morning and just see more sellers come in. So watch that carefully. As we rally back to this price resistance level in the chart, keep a pretty close eye on this area right in here. That's where we could see that additional failure. Again, once again, before this can improve itself or correct itself, the diamonds needs to break that downtrend, hold a support, and then show buyers stepping in at that point. So we've got a lot of work here to do to repair the technical damage in the diamonds. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also failing at its 50 day moving average. The good news here on the SPY is it didn't go, go ahead and break the this low right in here. It didn't break down through it. We tested it hard, but it didn't break down through this low. However, we still have that technical damage of a failure at the 50 day moving average. We have price resistance in this chart as we're trying to rally up this morning. We're gonna test that area to see if we can push back through, but notice we have created lots of levels of price resistance in this chart for any rally back. And that failure of the 50 day moving average could be fatal here for um, the SPY. Like I've said before, um, just watch carefully if big tech starts to sell. Big tech has been able to lift and hold the entire market up. And if big tech starts to sell, if we continue to see those bonds creating problems for tech, then watch out below because big tech has a pretty substantial fall that could occur um, in that circumstance. So as we rally back, we've got a lot of big tech here in the SPY. Watch that carefully for that potential. We run into these resistance levels and we could easily continue on down. Um, we're a long ways away from our 200 day moving average, but typically a failure at the 50 day would suggest We'll be watching for that 200 day moving average in the future to be tested. QQQ, same thing. Um, after we fail that 50 day mo moving average, watch for that potential that we could be heading um, uh, that way down to that 200 day. So ugly charts here, we've got a lot of work to repair. Now let's take a look at IWM. Now IWM has enjoyed a really nice surge in oil sector. Oil has really pushed up and inflation is helping that oil sector quite a bit continue to push on up. And you can see back above its 50 day moving average. And although yesterday was a complete reversal in that move, and by the way, let me show you here, um, should have been really no surprise where it could reverse. 
um, right off of that downtrend. So we have a little bit of a problem here in this as well. And we have um, a, a petroleum status number um, today that could help this. We could see um, IWM become one of the strongest of the indexes, um, which would be an interesting switch. Um, if that oil status number comes in a week with a decline in supplies. Now, what that would suggest if we have a decline in supplies, that consumers are still out there spending, that um, those um, those declines are, are still happening. It's also going to be a function of all of these hurricanes and shutdowns of oil production out there in the Gulf um, and refining capacity. So kind of keep an, an eye on that. If we continue to see decline in supplies, that could certainly help IWM. However, there is a little bit of concern starting to develop here that we could start to see with consumers pulling back, with consumers being strained by inflation, costs of food and energy, and they're not able to spend in other places, we could certainly see a draw uh, a uh, that possibility that we have a build in supplies because consumers are just going to start pulling back on their spending if they would see a surprise build in supplies on that number um, that could also push this IWM a little bit lower so keep a close eye on that that petroleum status number could be very important for IWM today so with that let's take a look at the VIX the VIX certainly surged hard yesterday, and we've been talking about that that problem here with this little rising lows here in the market. And we certainly surged hard yesterday. We're going to get a pullback in this number today, um, but notice that we um, even broke above this big uh, these big spiking downtrends. So a pullback in here would be very welcome, and that would. Um, help quite a bit, but let's take a look right in here. And I've been mentioning this a hold above that support level of around 20. Look at all of this price action around that 20 handle. So if we were to pull back and hold above that 20 handle, still holding into that trend, we may not be done here. As a matter of fact, we may be just at the beginning of a major problem here in the market. So Keep that in mind and watch that pretty closely. The VIX is signaling some fear and um, that can mean some damage um, continuing in these index charts. So watch closely for that. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now T2122 remarkably, even with that selling yesterday, we did not reach an oversold condition in the market and, and that's why i said even with this gap up this morning be really really careful chasing in because we still have that possibility that we could see some more selling before we reach that oversold condition here in um, t2122 um, that would add certainly a lot of pain and pressure to these charts if that were to occur. However, we're close enough down in here that we certainly have opened up that opportunity. We can find that bullish reason for a recovery. We certainly have opened up plenty of opportunity for an upside relief rally if we can find the the reason for that keep in mind that we've already seen uh, mortgage applications this morning that mortgage application number came in um, um, very weak at a minus 1.1 so we're starting to see some of those bearish reasons come in already this morning where we might be um, seeing just that little bit of pressure of inflation and that pinch that um, consumers are starting to feel let's take a look at our t2107 now t2107 did pull back yesterday and we pulled back right along this downtrend but you know we held up better than i honestly would have have expected so we're holding in here on this little bit of a price support and if we can get some bulls to push up in here we could certainly see that respond higher we need to get back above this downtrend here with all of these stocks that are below the 200 get back above there hold and then show that bullishness um coming in so watch carefully t2107 is right at that point where it could show some marked improvement 
Um, but also right at that point where if the bears continue to engage and push lower, um, we could still see more damage here on that um, that uh, indicator. Let's take a look at our T2101. Our market breadth indicator. Now this should be this should give us a little bit of hope for a little bit of a re relief rally. And that is, although we did see a push up in market breadth yesterday, notice it wasn't extreme. Um, that market breadth really didn't expand dramatically in that sell-off. So um, that is a good sign. We continue to remain underneath this big downtrend, but we still have these worries here that we're going to have to keep an eye on. And what's what is interesting is that market breadth continues to show lots of weakness here, um, like momentum. Um, we seem to be struggling with that quite a bit here in breadth. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And I've already mentioned a couple things on that economic calendar this morning, so we'll be really quick. But our economic calendar, as you can see, we have uh, had those mortgage applications come in this morning and they came in at a negative 1.1. So those mortgage apps are dropping hard. And that could be a problem um, for this number right here this morning, the pending home sales. If we are seeing pending home sales declining as a result um, of those higher prices and, and those inflationary pressures, keep a close eye on that. If those were to come in weak, that could also add a little bit of bearish pressure. This number right here, that petroleum status number, was what I was talking about on IWM. We're going to have to watch that one pretty closely. If we were to end up with some kind of a surprise build in supplies, that would suggest that consumers are pulling back on their driving, their spending, the things like that. Um, I, I kind of lean toward the fact that it will show a continued decline in supplies, and that's just because of hurricane season and the shutdowns and things that have occurred out there in the Gulf. So um, I'm, I'm leaning that direction, but we do want to watch that pretty carefully. And then keep in mind, we still have the Fed parade going on here with Jerome Powell speaking in Congress again today and lots of fed speak out there as you plan forward this could be really important for tomorrow guys remember as we plan forward if we're going to take another hit it might just come in gdp numbers and jobless claims tomorrow so watch that closely um it's a it's a it's a troubled market with a lot of things to deal with and doggone it um there is a lot of pressure here for us to deal with um and um, a lot of things that could cause us some problems yet. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar, we have eight companies listed on the earnings calendar that are confirmed. And we have a few notables today to uh, pay attention to. CTAS, CentOS um, will be reporting today. Keep an eye on that. Looks like it's a little tiny bit, uh, indicating just a little tiny bit lower this morning, but gapping way up off of yesterday's. So so we've got quite a little bit of price resistance in here. We are starting, you know, that downtrend. Um, there's some issues here in CentOS, so watch that close today. That could be an important report. Keep an eye on uh, JBL. JBL also reporting today. Looks like it's trying to pop up and recover a little bit from yesterday. Get some resistance up here to deal with. We've broken this trend and we're testing this resistance right in here. So could be a lower high that could come in here if that were to fail. Watch that closely. We're going to get um, um, news from um, MLHR. That'll be reporting today. We're going to hear from NG today and we will also hear from WOR. Those are the notables for this morning. Ooh, nice pop there in WOR, breaking, um, breaking some downtrend here. So good sign here. If we can pop that downtrend, if we can hold this area as some support right through here, then there would be that opportunity for those bulls to kind of step up in here and push this higher. So watch closely for that. 
So with that, everyone, hey, let's take a look at a few stocks. And I got to tell you, honestly, um, uh, there's not a whole lot to look at here for potential uh, stock ideas this morning. But um, if you could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified when I post a video. If you find these videos to be worthy, to be helpful, please do me a favor. Favor. click those thumbs up buttons and leave a brief comment and if you find that these videos are helping you and protecting your capital doing a better job in your trading leaving those comments are the best things that you can do it helps the algorithm to show these videos to more folks so thank you everyone those folks who do engage with the video makes a big difference in the channel growth and i really really want to appreciate that um, or thank you for that also um for those of you that are not members to um right wing options hit run candlesticks that want to help support the channel you can certainly do that through the buy me a coffee link just below the title of the video you can click on that buy a coffee and believe me that money is not going into my pocket it's it's being used to pick up some additional equipment some things that i can start working to improve uh, the video and some of the contents uh, content of the channel so thank you to everyone who has been doing that uh, okay so let's take a look at some stocks and I got to tell you guys we got to be really really careful here but I did see some things that were kind of interesting yesterday take a look at ACB ACB is a cannabis stock and we um, had earnings here on this stock and it surged up here it's trying to break some downtrend so keep an eye on that trying to hold on to some downtrend trying to hold up in there you'll want to watch Watch that pretty carefully looking pretty darn good overall if you're looking for long trades you might want to be looking in that energy sector energy was the strongest sector in the market yesterday and as you can see um, breaking through resistance levels in the chart now I wouldn't want to chase this move I think we need some rest or pullback and there's a lot of stocks in this sector that are looking just like this really stretched um, in the short term so let's keep an eye on this and see if this can rest or pull back consolidate in here just a little bit and then we might be able to pick up these trends and hold in here or create a new trend in here someplace that shows that bullishness and we can maybe Maybe start moving up and attacking some of these highs so watch that carefully in here anything in that energy sector um, you know things like um, uh, Devon big breakout here in Devon now watch for that resting pullback in that next opportunity um, in there um, Exxon Mobil big big rally um, in that chart pushing up rest or pullback would set up an opportunity in there and you can just go through tons and tons of these charts for that same kind of pattern big soaring moves look for that rest or pullback look for your opportunity in some of those uh, trades another th place that you might want to start watching and keeping an eye on Ford made an announcement yesterday that they are going to build a new factory they're gonna uh, a new factory for building the the electric f-150 they're going to be building two battery plants um, um, in response to the huge um, um, orders on that electric f-150 and so a nice investment here in the United States going to happen you can see we've broken this downtrend substantially and we have pushed through some major resistance levels in the chart however I do want to caution you not to chase this move I think this needs um, after such a big rally remember it's going to be probably two or three years before their uh, Ford itself actually sees benefit from these new plants it, it's a good sign but just re realize that what they're going to be doing right now is spending 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 um, rather than um, producing uh, good earnings results out of that but watch this closely if this wrestler pulls back remember the market tries to look forward um, looking for those good signs in charts so any rest or pullback in here could definitely set up that opportunity for more upside move so with that everyone hey I want to wish you all a fantastic day and I know yesterday was a pretty darn ugly day no one likes to see those kind of things happen but they do happen and now we need to start thinking about 
the possibility of the short side of this market. We need to be thinking about a possible correction. And that means we should be looking towards some of those bearish charts for potential trades rather than just rushing right back in to the long side of the market. I'm not saying that we can't recover that or that we won't recover. I'm just saying there is some technical challenges out there now and probably the biggest technical challenges we've seen for a while. So be very, very careful. I wish you all great success in your trading and we'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning. Have a great day.